basketball and the players in basketball are the uh, are bigger superstars when it comes to social media and 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 the market as a whole when endorsements they make more money than any sports especially worldwide too now with a lot of these uh European, well, with the basketball European deals European players yes. getting so dominant too like Nikola Jokic Giannis Luka Doncic like all these guys are adding into their countries a new European market that's going to get a social media you know so. what's so interesting I, I was listening to Deion, Deion Sanders speak about football as a whole especially from from the college game going into the pro game and and he was talking about what these players are getting off the field. And he says that being that football is a multi-billion dollar organization and they're making more money and they're bringing in more revenue than any of the organizations, why aren't these football players making more in endorsements than basketball players? Right. Why aren't they making more than baseball players when they're bringing in more fans, you know, in the, you know, in the seats and 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 the endorsements are there. I mean, the NFL is making billions off endorsements. Why aren't uh, certain organizations like Dorito or something like that, picking a spokesman in the NFL, a player in the NFL that can speak for their product. I, I don't understand that. Now, we we see Patrick Mahomes on a lot of commercials, and he's part of Subway commercials with Steph Curry and certain and Derek Cheater. He's get, I mean, he's getting the endorsements even as a retired player. But again, football's generating the most money. There's more revenue coming from football. Why aren't they getting the endorsements? That's what I'm saying. Right. I mean, how, how many football players have a sneaker deal uh, like LeBron James? Right. It's I mean, all, they only have their like custom cleats that are built within the NFL's like uh, special like weeks that they have the military one. There's one for breast cancer. Uh, they have those, and and then again, players sometimes have their own custom cleats. I know Stephon Diggs has had some cool ones. And and you, you listen to Carl. He says you don't see their faces uh, and, and, and when they play. It's all about the name. It's not about the faces. When you look at LeBron James, it's not about what he looks like and how big he is, how strong he is. It's about the name in the back of the jersey. And that's the way fantasy sports has transitioned the game. I talked about it yesterday. I said, then you talk to kids from the ages of 8 to 15 and you ask them, who are your favorite teams? And you ask the kids the kids at that age group, they're telling, they're telling you players. They're not telling you teams. When we grew up, Carl and Jeff and Snug, when we grew up, it was all about the teams, following those teams. It didn't matter who was on those teams. You were rooting for those teams. Carl also says, also, you can't just go out and get a tackle football pickup game going, but you can for basketball and baseball. So that's the reason why you, you don't get the endorsements? I mean, if you're bringing in more revenue, wouldn't you think that those players would bring in more revenue for your product? I, I mean, honestly, Deion Sanders makes a good point with this. Oh, yeah. He, he calls himself primetime, and Deion Sanders had a lot of endorsements too, but he never had the endorsements when Michael Jordan was playing. Michael Jordan, why is Michael Jordan so rich? Because, and I, I has anybody seen the movie Air? Fantastic movie. Check it out on Prime. Fantastic. It really was. It, it was, uh, to me, the way they said it, Matt, um, oh, what his name is, um, I'm, I'm Ben Affleck as the director of the movie, Matt Damon, who was fantastic in the movie. I'm telling you guys, if you've never checked out that movie, it, the way his mother, Michael Jordan's mother, negotiated that deal. He, Michael Jordan was the first player in sports history to negotiate a deal where he makes profit off of every revenue sneaker with his name on it. He was the first player to ever do that, and it transitioned the game completely. Changed everything. Michael Jordan's sneaker in the first year was out when – it, a lot of people, especially Nike, thought it was only going to make $3 million, brought in and generated $168 million. And Nike was the third biggest sneaker in that time. It was Converse and it was Adidas. And he, want, he didn't want nothing to do with Nike. It was nothing. He wanted nothing to do with Nike. The fact that Nike got Michael Jordan uh, was it was really the story of the movie and how they they drew him to decide to go with Nike and it changed everything. Nike became the biggest sneaker, the biggest sale sneaker in 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 sports history, and it is still to this day and it probably will never be beaten. And it was all because of that Michael Jordan deal that changed everything. And they also have stuff beyond sneakers, too. They got cleats. They got cleats those, those NFL players are wearing, too. A lot of them yeah. are Nike. I mean, Michael Jordan has all these guys under his brand. I mean, Derek Jeter was wearing the Jordan brand, Carmelo, all of these guys. All these guys used, uh, you know, Michael Jordan's name to build their product and build their their endorsements. 